continues for the man police say groped several women in the middle of the day. Now, these alleged attacks happened earlier this month in Pleasant Ridge. WCPO 9 News reporter Valerie Lyons is live there right now. Valerie, some worry the man could be moving into perhaps another neighborhood. Yeah, Craig, just a few hours ago, a woman in Kennedy Heights actually posted in an online group saying she might have seen him. Now she's basing that off descriptions given by other neighbors and police. That's neck tattoos, dental braces, and apparently in each of the assaults, he's been wearing a ski mask. And you don't want to assume people um, are out there for the wrong reasons, but sometimes they are and they can put even the safest neighborhoods on edge. I've been walking by myself a little bit more, so I'm not sure what this means hearing about this guy. This guy, 22 year old Antoine Taylor. Police say he could be responsible for assaulting at least four women in Pleasant Ridge. Court records show Taylor has four active warrants, all for sexual imposition. Each of his accusers say Taylor made lewd comments before groping them and running off. Why would I want a man touching me like that? It's very violating and inappropriate. Police say Taylor ambushed the women earlier this month, each time on residential streets near Montgomery Road. And now weeks later, they're still looking for him. You guys need to find him. Okay. Isabel Provosti calls the quaint community home. She says she's always felt safe walking alone, but now not so much. My boyfriend probably won't let me go out. It's a little, little scary. I think just be aware of your surroundings. As for Maria Ponte Zins, well, she says she's not as concerned. That's because when she walks around, she's always on alert. Probably because I'm a girl, <laughs> a woman. I think and particularly I won't walk alone at night. Um, I always will walk with somebody. But other neighbors tell us the suspect assaulted women in the afternoon. Shocking, they say, and brazen. And that scares me. With Taylor yet to be caught, neighbors worry there could be more victims. But while that won't keep them off the streets. It's just important to be aware at all times. Now, neighbors also say they've only ever seen the suspect walk around, that they've never seen him get into a car. And with all that in mind, police are asking if you have any information that could lead to Taylor's arrest, that you please let them know. But for now, live in Pleasant Ridge, Valerie Lyons, WCPO 9 News.